kind of mentioned this, I think, in retros and such about the Gaia International project we're doing, but I thought I could kind of go through it in a little more detail since we just did a three-month analysis. This is just on one phase of it because they're doing it by page type. So this phase was their series pages in particular. Just kind of going over what we specifically did. A lot of the beginning of the year was consulting in terms of figuring out what the best setup is. There's a lot of different setups for international. Are you going to focus on just specific languages or do you want it to be even more like localized in your focus? Do you want to do like subfolders or like a top level domain? You know, there's a lot of those questions. So we did a lot of consulting on that, a lot of consulting on the technical side because they have a unique site. Eventually we got to the point where we were able to figure out the strategy and move forward with it. So there's a few different things we did specifically, they have Spanish, German, and French series. So we created the subfolders, consulted on and queued the different subfolders for series that have these relevant languages. So for an example, this series, and then making sure they have the language identified, the content language as well, and then the hreflang tags, and they're all there and properly working. And so that was a kind of the main thing of the setup because previously like people could change the language on the site once they reached it, once they reached the page, but there wasn't like a separate one where you could optimize content for that specific language or anything like that, or like land on it through search. So in addition to that, they moved it over. They had these pages on like web app and they moved them over to WordPress. So that led to some more complications on the technical side to work through. A couple other changes we made at the same time was adding more content to the pages, specifically the episode descriptions in here. We also added the pagination to go through their seasons. And that took some research because there's pros and cons. Like the pro is it's much more crawlable, especially now that they added all these episode descriptions. So getting to that content and what we saw was there was some search volume, especially for popular series and their specific seasons, but it's also adding a bunch of new pages. So it was kind of like weighing the risks versus benefits, but after looking at what the benefits could be and looking at what competitors are doing and how that's going for them. We also implemented that. There was just one outstanding issue of if there was a series that was only in Spanish, it's now in that Spanish subfolder, but that other URL that existed not in a subfolder was 404ing. So that became an issue in Mexico specifically. I think some of these series were really popular. So we saw some downturns from that when that page was 404ing. And then the final thing we're waiting on, and this just turned out to be more complicated because they moved from web app to WordPress was getting that XML sitemap up for the subfolders, but search engines are still crawling through the hreflang tags and, and finding them. All of these changes and the international ones were launched on May 26th. At that same time, we also benefited from the algorithm update that happened on May 25th. You can't really isolate from one from the other because it all hit the site, but that was really awesome to see because like they're in the like alternative health space. So they've been hit by a lot of algorithm updates. And a big thing we've been doing over the last year is focus on their conversion focus pages, like video and topic pages and optimizing those. So there's not as much thin content and it's better for users. So kind of seeing that payoff too was really great. They put a lot of effort into this. It was like a lot. So of course it's important they get some sort of return off of it. So the goal was seeing like, okay, did we reach the goal of seeing increased organic visibility in those key markets? The answer is yes. Looking at all organic traffic in Google Analytics that didn't include the US pre versus post updates, we saw a big increase in subscriptions and some in users. The subscriptions was great to see because we weren't sure if we'd see that yet because we're just starting kind of from scratch on the organic side to an extent. So we weren't expecting necessarily for subscriptions to get there. 
but that was really great to see. And we note here, there was like a tracking issue, something with GTM that fell off when they implemented it. But then when it got fixed, you can clearly see it was back on the rise there. So for each language, they want to focus on the market globally, especially for Spanish. They really are focused, you know, in Spain, but also South America and Latin America. But it's really hard to like get results for a region. So we really focus on Spain and then Mexico is a big market for them. So for Spain, and we put the numbers down below, as you'll see, because some of them were starting with nothing. So there's 13 subscriptions compared to three, but you know, it's a huge increase. But again, you can see with GA, like how much it increased. This also lined up. They did note that they started other marketing efforts in those markets too around this time. So that would definitely influence it. But this is just organic. So without those pages, we wouldn't have been able to leverage even the other marketing efforts as well as they were able to. Same with clicks and impressions. And here we are looking at not keywords that improved rankings, but what are some new ones that we didn't have before at all. And showing that here and then showing the keyword footprint in that country as a whole for the site. So we saw some good increases in Spain, as we can see. When we get into Mexico, this one was a little trickier. We did see increases here, but as we noted, the broken URLs was probably the biggest issue seen in the Mexico market. So if we take all those URLs out of the analysis, we still saw upturns, but also that was an important fix to have done. So it's good to note there were downturns because their series really vary. So it's like even just a series or two that was huge, that's going to really impact things. Same here are some increases. It gets a little repetitive with French and German because they're all increasing. <laughs> French was like a big one that we can see here, like 59 subscriptions versus five previously and over a thousand users versus around 300. Again, we can see that here and here as well. And German, same here, increases. We can see very clearly that it's gone way up versus where it was before the updates here as well. And then the ranking keywords. And the goal of this deck was to be super high level because it was also for them to share internally of like, hey, all this work is doing something. And it's also supposed to set up content optimizations, which should take it to the next level too.